So I'm taking a nap on the job. Give me a break. Hello everyone, Michelin's back here with Super Mario Galaxy. Now, in the last video you saw that I unlocked a new galaxy, but in this one I'm just going to go to Honey Hive because I like not leaving things unfinished. Which is part of why the beginning of this game bugs me a bit, but you know what, Let's. You know, there's nothing I can do about that. So we get to trouble on the tower. Now, one interesting thing is how the... If you notice... Oh, yeah, I accidentally skipped to that opening <laughs> because I scrapped an earlier take of this. But basically, if you notice that they changed the... It, it was kind of notable, noticeable on Good Egg Galaxy, but it's much more noticeable here that they tend to change the levels a bit in between stars and I thought if you spin jump in the wrong place there you're gonna die I thought for a moment that I had oh and that's only three star bits out of that thing I huh, forgot that completely not worth it but so anyway yeah you notice they change things a bit like um, if I can get it on the camera right over there that grill wasn't there blocking the way to the queen even though Wiggler stupid thing even though you can still I believe yeah you can still see the queen bee I don't think you go over there but I mean she's still visible and everything so I guess they only kind of did the transformation halfway now over here is something that every 3d Mario game person should know is in these games the wall jump which is incredibly difficult to pull off in real life and I don't recommend anybody actually try it but, yeah, you have the wall jump, and this is necessary in a lot of places here. I've heard some people playing these games not knowing it was possible. I'm just wondering how that sign I went right past tells you that the to wall jump. And I just don't even know what these things are supposed to be. Uh, I, it, it, it's just bizarre, inexplicable planetoid shapes, and why are you giving me yet an another one of those star things that may be wise to take it at this point, actually. I don't remember what's coming up that I might need the star for. Um, oh. Star bits. Yeah, I might want to collect those. No, really? What is the purpose of that star? I never realized you could get that. Yeah, I, I haven't quite played this game to memorization. Which, fine by me. I mean, I don't intend this LP to be, you know, Hey! This is everything you ever need to know about Super Mario Galaxy! Oh! Of course not. Why would I do that? I don't know that much. And these things, pretty interesting little things. You'll see in the next mission they're called Mandibugs, because they have very pronounced pincer jaw-like things, and the mandible is the jaw, in case anybody here doesn't know anatomy. Maybe you don't. That's that's fine if you don't, but yeah, Manda bugs. So, anyway, we get up here to a pathetic... Speaking of pathetic! You know, I used to think I played better on camera than off, but no. Definitely not. Definitely not. This is a pathetic boss fight. The fact that I got hit means I should be shot. Thing about the Manda bugs is, once you're once you step on them, they Jesus Christ! Do you, do, you, do you just as soon as you step on one, they freeze up. So as soon as you jump on top of it, they'll be like, "Oh, geez, I'm scared! I'm scared! I'm scared!" And the at that point, you ground pound, and that makes the mama bug angry. But it's really ha! Okay. There we go. Squashed him. Star! Finally! Stupid! Freaking! Camera! <coughs> Star! And for the last thing we can do in Honey Hive Galaxy for now, there is a lesson in alliteration. The big... The big bad bugaboom. Which really is an awesome name. Awesome, I gotta say. Big bad bug -a boom Yeah, it doesn't sound quite as great when I do that. And now we've been taken over by the Mandabugs. Okay. One thing I forgot to mention is 
Is it here? Yeah, the music in Honey Hive Galaxy. I love it. It's up there in my favorite. In fact, at a certain point, I am pretty sure it sounds... I've never quite been able to figure out if this was intended to be the case. But it sounds like Rimsky korsakovs Flight of the Bumblebee. Which, if you've never heard it, you really need to. It is really good, and it's, it's, it's... The neighbors are causing trouble again. We would be most grateful for your assistance. My voices are so freaking inconsistent. This part, right here, listen. I, I swear that has to have at least some inspiration from Flight of the Bumblebee. Maybe I'm just crazy. And for those who don't know, Flight of the Bumblebee is from a 1900s opera by Rimsky Korsakov and is currently used as the Guinness standard for um, fastest played music. Basically, the tempo which you can, the fastest tempo at which somebody can play uh, Flight of the Bumblebee is considered the fastest guitar player or whatever. And now we get on here to the big bad bug -a boom This guy is an interesting boss fight in that he can take you no time at all or he can take forever. You get on, you jump up on his back and you ground pound, kind of like the Mandabugs. Now, hey, he's about to come back this way, isn't he? Yep. So what you gotta do is get above him and... Crap, that didn't work. See, he'll kind of fly off on his side, but this isn't when things really get interesting. Not quite yet. See, now he's gonna come back around this side, I believe. This side, over where my pointer is. Yep. He's gonna do that. And see... You land another ground pump. Had I gotten him on the first time, this would be, you know, really, really simple. And then he does this, where he routinely flips over while he flies around. Yeah, as if they... it's like they wanted to just see, hmm, how can we make this unfair? Yep. This boss fight is one of those that either takes you no time at all, or it takes you quite a while. See? 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 And he freaking comes back and I'm not ready! <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I know where you live. I can wait here all day. Uh, no, 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 not gonna work. Crap! And... Yeah, see, if you land on him when he's kinda on his side like that, you got a bit of a problem coming up. Well... And let's see, come on, come on, come on! Yes! There I go. Here you go, I got him. It, that, that part is kind of like, you just have to figure out where the right place is to be at the right time. Because otherwise, well, you're gonna run into what... You're gonna run into it possibly even worse than what I did. I've spent five minutes on that fight before. And we got... Huh? Ah, Hungry Luma has appeared. I... Okay, I'm going to show you off the Hungry Lumas over here. I know there's a couple more galaxies in there I can discover, but I really want to show you the Hungry Lumas here. Assuming that I have enough Starbits. Hey you, yeah you, got any tasty Starbits? Feed me a bunch of Starbits, I'll burst with snacky happiness, and then transform! Famish, need 400 Starbits. Okay, this uses basically your cumulative total through all the different levels and you give the you know whatever you finish a level with carries over and adds to your starbit count in the comet observatory and i'm talking with my hands here which you can't see but it helps get my point across but anyway the sweet sweet galaxy has appeared and so now we'll head off to there i only plan to do two stars in this video but you know what i'll do three i got time so sweet sweet galaxy you come up to rocky road which haha <laughs> funny pun funny pun and anybody who really likes Mario 3... Yep, you got your music in here. So, this is tricky, but not overly difficult. Long jump is your friend as long as you can control it. See, this is why I think... Now, 
the here's the thing the shake in this game the not the shake the spin you know but Mario can do how Mario can spin and that gives him when you shake the Wii remote and that gives him a little more time in the air to better aim your jump that is kind you know th I said this is that's this game's gimmick and it doesn't really break the game but it makes it a lot easier in some sections than it almost should be I mean Anyone remember those platforming sections in Super Mario Sunshine where you lost Flood and you had to go on and do it on your own? Yeah, well... Really? At least it starts me off here. Anyways, I was saying, you remember those sections in Super Mario Sunshine where you lost Flood and couldn't use it to assist you because it was stolen by, uh, Bagaboo guy, Shadow Mario. Yeah, when it was stolen by him. And in as much as those were really frustrating, I kind of liked that difficulty, and this really just takes that whole aspect of difficulty out of it with the shake, with the spin, I mean. But... I don't know. It, it it's it's a good thing and a bad thing. I both like it and don't like. It. Hey, we're going back. Yes, yeah, some of the toes are going back, and those eight little gumdrops count as starbit things here. But anyway, so now that I've concluded that tiny mini rant, we get the star. You know, it's too bad he doesn't say star there. Got a new galaxy. And now what is that galaxy going to be? Well, you'll just have to find out the next time when I go to it. If you've already played this game, I'm pretty sure you already know what galaxy I just discovered, but we won't quite be going there next time. But as for this time, this is Mishlings here, Super Mario Galaxy. Hope you enjoyed it. And again, thanks for all the praise I get from you guys. I am really amazed that people actually like what I'm doing here. This is Mishlings here, signing off. <laughs>